So in the last video, we learned that the Visual Studio Code software is really helpful at helping us find some formatting issues with our JSON. Like when we click on the curly braces, it'll highlight the matching curly brace in the code. So you can match up your curly braces. Also, if you forget a comma, it will give you a red underline so you could mouse over and it'll tell you what it thinks the error might be. So you can go ahead and fix that right there in Visual Studio Code. Now, if you're using a different editor that does not have that capability or you'd like another way to check your code, there are tools called linters. A linter is a general term for a tool that will check your code and give you some feedback on whether or not it's fitting the format that it was designed for. There are linters for many different languages, but you could use JSON linters to debug your add-on code. Let's go ahead and try one out. So I'm gonna create a couple of errors in our code here. I'll get rid of this comma. So what you're gonna to do to use a linter is it's actually at a website. So what we're gonna do is copy all of this code first. So you could use the shortcut keys to go faster, but I'll use the menus just to demonstrate. If I go to select all, which is control A, it selects all the code, and then I can do edit and then copy, which is control C. It copies all the code to the clipboard. So I'm gonna to go to my web browser and pull up my JSON linter. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and paste our code in this text box here. So I'm gonna right click my mouse and then select paste. And then all the code is pasted. So now let's go ahead and click the JS lint button. And what it's gonna do is check the JSON code. And you see here it found an error. It said expected a curly brace to match curly brace on 17, instead saw family types. So here's the deal. It's showing me over here at line 19, character number 10 is where it thinks the error is. So let's scroll up. Line 19. Right here, it got family types. And so if we look a little bit closer, you could see that we have a list of things. We have seat count one and then family types, and there's no comma between those two. So we have to put a comma there to fix that. And then we can go ahead and JS lint again. And it says that it's good. So if your JSON is good, then that means that you've formatted it properly. So it's likely to work in your add-on, provided that you haven't made any spelling errors. Now the content here, like zombie, if you called it Zambi and did JS lint, it would also work because it doesn't know all the different properties of your JSON file. It just knows the proper formatting. So if you say Zambi, in Minecraft, there are no Zambies, so it's not going to work with a zombie because you've misspelled zombie to zombie. So, so your spelling and your content is going to affect whether or not it works in Minecraft, not necessarily whether or not it's accurate in the JSON format. A linter is a great way to check your JSON formatting. If you could rule out JSON formatting, that's one step closer to getting accurate code.